Hello, welcome to another episode of Better Health Through Live Food. So today uh, we'll look at uh, making walnut meat. As a lot of people, uh, when they start to become vegetarian, they miss their meat, and they like they still like that texture, you know, that uh, meaty type texture. So the way to do go about doing that is using walnut. <coughs> and this this um, preparation, you can use it for your spaghetti bolognese. You know, you can actually make spaghetti out of your zucchini uh, using a spirulli, which uh, we can show you later. So the ingredient for this is uh, two cups of sun-dried tomato and obviously you need to soak that, uh, soak that for at least two hours. Two cups of, uh, two fresh tomato. One cup of walnut that you soak for at least two hours. So that activates it. One cup of basil. One tablespoon of olive oil. One and a half uh, tablespoon of agave nectar. Now we use this brand, which is uh, raw. One tablespoon of miso. One tablespoon of uh, organic soy. And uh, maybe a little a pinch of uh, cayenne pepper. And also some uh, red capsicum. A little bit of cap. You can put it in or not. It doesn't matter. Just using your food processor nice and simple. So you put in this ingredient, the basil goes in last. You can use it as a nacho or, um, or your dips or a taco um, dips. <coughs> so the next one is uh, agave nectar. So that's one tablespoon. Depending on how sweet you want to make it, I mean, you can do a while with one. And then one tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of uh, soy. Spoon of miso. The darker the miso, the better it is, and that will give it that salty taste. Now notice that we don't, we didn't put any salt in this recipe, and that's because the miso is salty, the soy is salty, and also the sun-dried tomato is salty as well. So there's plenty of salt, and uh, there's already plenty of salt in this recipe. And then maybe a little bit of cayenne pepper. And that's it. Mmm, smells good, isn't it? It smells beautiful. That sun dried tomato is. It's really nice. So now, put in a bit of basil. So it could, um, just makes it green. smell the basil coming through. Wow, doesn't that look like, um, like mince or spaghetti bolognese? So you can use that in your uh, dip. A little bit more.
that's it. Nice. Take that out. Mmm, that smells good. batch of these and um, just like the cream cheese and, and uh, put it in the fridge and use it in all different ways you know over a period of time you know, all fresh ingredient and uh, very nutritious Nice and simple.